Well, finally tonight. Casey, we all know that today is John Walsh's last day. He still has another show to go tonight at 10, but John, we weren't going to let you go without showing some good old video of you. Statistics say that the average American will relocate every seven to eight years. Then there's the adrenaline of high country adventure. We're here in the Custer County town of Comstock. It's an awesome display of military might and a gentle reminder that you better be on your best behavior. Okay, well, we John, John is lurking in the background after checking the weather computer. Let me sneak in here, okay? I have no idea what you just said. Okay, well then let's just drop the whole thing, okay? Okay, thanks, John. And here's an interesting scenario. You can also see the satellite map just off to the corner along with the radar. That's a new twist. Going back to him live in GI. John? <laughs> well, we're all waiting. We're all waiting. The big guy. Move out of the way here is a foot above normal for this time of year. You're going to wonder how I'm going to get that clicker, aren't you? Good hands. Agility was not part of the job requirement here. <laughs> Especially in February, we've got west to northwest winds. Nice catch. Anywhere between 5 to 15 miles per hour. All right. Well, John, happy retirement. <laughs> One thing I do have to say to you, John, um, is I I've always appreciated you in this job since I've been working with you. Uh, incredibly encouraging and professional all the time. You saw it in the video there, poise, even Drew and dropping the clicker. Yeah, and he, and he there was such picked poise. Picked it right back up. Picked it right but back up. always encouraging. I want to highlight that especially. <laughs> well, if I haven't learned anything in 34 years, uh, it's to hang on to the clicker with two hands now. So that doesn't happen quite as often. <laughs> that was great. I, you know, and I missed the where in the worlds that we used to do. Uh, um, those were some of the, th those were, so fun to do. I've learned so much about my own state that I grew up in that I never knew before. So uh, brought back some good memories there. And I appreciate uh, you guys. I've enjoyed working with you. Uh, it's great to see some of the folks that I worked with in the past there, wherever they are. Uh, I just want to thank them because they were a part of whatever little success I may have had in this job. And so, uh, but uh, you know, I'm really going to miss you guys a lot. Uh, this is a transition Bring for me, you certainly, too, as everybody feels when they're moving into another stage of life, especially retirement. And uh, uh, I don't know what it's going to be like not to have to work nights <laughs> coming up next week. Right. I don't know what right. I'm going to do with myself. <laughs> Well, John, there's one thing that you do have to promise Casey and I. That zip line video, you have to recreate yeah. that one more time. I mean, before what's tonight. retirement for? It, it, yeah, that's what, exactly what retirement's for. So you got to yeah. recreate that, and then we got to air that one more time. I would do that any day. In fact, you, you come with. You know where that was? That was Halsey uh, State Park. Okay, we will. Out in the western portions of Nebraska. And there, they've got a zip line through the forest oh, there, Halsey. which I love that, uh, that part of the world. That was a lot of fun. So... Um, but anyway, thanks a lot, guys. That was awesome. We'll see you again at 10. I'll be saying a little bit more about things. As far as the forecast goes for tonight, no worries for you. We've got st temperatures starting out at 90. We'll be dropping to 65. Not all that humid across the area. There's going to be some thunderstorms. Most of those appear to be relegated to the sand hills tonight. But we'll watch for a few our way by to early tomorrow.